All right, so this is gonna be a quick little video showing this Toshiba satellite I got out of the trash. It's a junk day, junk weekend. Gonna do this all as one take, lazy as hell. I don't have the power supply for it, so I got a piece of cardboard shoved in back there and some wires on the barrel jack because this is what I considered to be a ridiculously large barrel jack that I had a hard time finding a power cord to scrap it for. And this jack here is even bigger than that. Uh, so this is kind of like my Toshiba Saddle, or my Toshiba Tecra, but it's a little bit newer. What I think is kind of cool is the power switch has like a little safety on it. Like, oh man, can't push it. Oh, no, you can. Uh, so yeah, it's hooked up to this Lambda bench power supply here. And I think that is really sexy right there. I don't know, just, I really like that. It is awesome to see in a laptop. And uh, we'll slide our safety back and push our button in. It's in absolutely pristine condition. Hmm. Hopefully this boots a little faster. This thing took like 10 minutes to boot last night, but I, I defragmented the hard drive and it sounded like it was hard drive issues. Susan. 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 Uh, and this LCD is literally the worst LCD I have ever seen. And, uh, the, it's, it's got, uh, it, it smears like a tired CRT and it fades and lags. Don't know the password. For, yeah, look at that. Do you see how that faded away? My Tecra, which is older than this thing, has a far better LCD. I mean, its LCD is terrible, but I mean, it's it's like three times faster than this, and it doesn't do the smearing like that. All right, this thing booted way faster this time. It needed a defrag, all right. I guess it's technically still booting. Yes, yeah, Susan, you're a cat, I know. I still don't have a Windows key. Wait, it does have a Windows key now. And it's up here. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> That's not the last command I ran. <laughs> Screw you. Oh. No, oh, oh boy. So yes, you can see we have an Intel Pentium MMX 266 megahertz, which is actually pretty nice. 32 megs of RAM, eh, not that bad for Windows 98. It'll it'll do the job. Uh, I think it's got a four gigabyte hard drive in it. And, you know, I have not looked at the GPU side. What do we have here? DirectX 7 compatible. Now, my Tecra has, like, a one megabyte awful can't run Half-Life 1 GPU. You know, I wonder if this can play Unreal Tournament. That could be a video for another time. Uh, I don't think you guys want to watch me install. <laughs> oh, boy. just i've never uh scarbled my darpin but be where to my computer i need it i want to look like my... i mean i'm definitely getting used to the fade factor but oh my god everything it's like watching a slideshow at fade transitions i do think uh that is funny and i do think that is no longer accurate and we go under performance here we can see that uh 88% of our RAM is free, but 32 megs, I think, is the bare minimum for Unreal Tournament, which... Oh my god! Yeah, this is gonna get a known video trying to game on this thing. That's gonna be a nightmare trying to play a first-person shooter on here. 
Uh, it appears to have an 800 by 600 display. It's currently running 256 colors. We're going to go to accessories and system tools. Yeah, very much exciting on here. And we're going to go up to Dash Defragmentor. Dash Defragmentor. Why can't I read? Where the hell is it? Uh. Why can't I find it? Mmm. You know. Is it just me or do I not see disk defragmenter here? System information system monitor, schedule task and disk, resource monitor, and net maintenance, blah, 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 blah. All right, you know what? Maybe it's not there in 98, but I thought it was. I, oh. <laughs> we are gonna try defragmenting a floppy drive because I want to, because I said so. Ugh. But I actually want to show you the bleeding sh oh. When cursor trails are the only way you're going to find your cursor. Uh. Alright, I better put a diskette. <sighs> oh. Alright, I don't get anything in that drive. I do get one in that drive. I wonder if that one works. Wait, what backup? No! I know I clicked something and not real. Go away. Close, I don't. Ah! I don't want to back this up! I'm getting frustrated! Good, most of the space is used and there's a little bit of freeze. This looks like a perfect free defragment. This defragmenter is not installed in your computer. What? I used it last night. I, 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 I what? What? Is that even an option? Like, I, I had it open. I restarted the computer five minutes ago. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Hurry up. Hurry up, I ain't got all day. I ain't got all day, boy. All right. Where's my tools at? Where's my tool shit at? Do I, uh, the, 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 the fragilator is not even an option. Um, excuse me. Hard drive, are you corrupting yourself while you're defragmenting? Also, what's on this floppy drive? These might be CD-ROM drive drivers. No, it's a Windows 98 startup disk, okay. Uh... Alright, we're going to just restart and double check with that, because that does not seem kosher. And I wanted to show you the grid problem.
No, you don't get to be cheery. This is not a cheery situation. Macintosh box I found. It doesn't have the computer in it, but if I ever get a hold of the computer, I'll be very excited because the box has all the original packing materials and it's in excellent shape on the inside. Pretty good shape on the outside, too. Across the 11 minute line because of this computer being weird. I was hoping this would be a five minute video. It's like watching one of those e-ink displays refresh. <laughs> hmm. I removed my floppy drive. Looks like we're not defragmenting it. Hmm. Do something. I have not tried going online with this thing yet. Uh, I don't have the thing for the Ethernet thing, but I do have a box of connectors around somewhere and one of them ought to work. Now, I wonder what we have for battery. That's all in the video. I'll unplug the thing or turn the power off and see what happens. This claims to be 100% charged. Well,. Shove that bad boy off the side. And, uh, uh. Right click. Hey, Susan, fuck off! No, the fragmenter just apparently doesn't exist in the hard drive anymore. All right, uh, I'll run check this later, but we're gonna push the power and see what happens. There is no longer power going to the laptop. It does not increase the brightness. All right, battery works. Uh, start. How do you change the brightness on this on the fly? We got a contrast wheel on the side. You know, I like that when they had a bright, uh, the bright, like how the old Apple laptops had a brightness slider here. That was nice. Nice analog brightness control. Don't know why that isn't a thing anymore. Uh, how do I change the brightness on here? Is that like a don't do function? I'm looking at the keyboard's legends. None of these look like they would turn up the brightness. I mean, unless we want to turn the water pressure. Why is there a faucet on here? All right, well, the battery seems... Ah! The battery seems to be holding up. 99%. I gotta say, I honestly thought this battery would be at like 20% if it held a charge by now. I can't believe it's... That old and still 98. I'm sure this thing wouldn't have the greatest runtime, but it looks like it'll still have a runtime. Well, how the hell do I turn the screen brightness down, though? 
there's no way this thing just runs at a fixed brightness. Oh, well, turning the power back on. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll be messing around with this more in a bit, and there's more laptops I'll make videos on later.